people don't really know much about the Philippines and the American connection to our country. Uh, we first came to Canada before we came to the United States, but it was in the 1970s, at the height of the uh, Marcos dictatorship, when a lot of people, especially professionals, left the country because of the repressive nature of the government. The first part is actually a kind of visual narrative of the history of the Philippines, especially the colonial history, its colonial history, and uh, the history of immigration of Filipinos to the United States. 340 years. That's how long the Spaniards colonized the Philippines. That piece also dramatizes the way Spain colonized the Philippines through the church. The church was the main instrument of uh, subjugation. The friar or the priest was even more powerful than the soldier. Colonization uh, works on many levels, especially on the psychological level. So one of my paintings actually over there is, is, a, uh, is a work that demonstrates how deep colonization can uh, damage the psychology of colonized people. It's about their own hatred of their own skin. I lifted that from an actual advertising uh, ad in the newspapers. It's called Pumuti Na Talaga Ako. It says, I am really getting white. And it's selling some cream, whitening cream. People want to be white. You know, whereas here they want to be tan. I used to uh, sew my kids and my own clothes and I accumulated uh, a bin full of fabric scraps and uh, because of my frugal nature I didn't want to throw anything away so I had this big collection and I didn't know what to do with it and decided to run them run my sewing machine over it like crazy you know and when I finished doing that Voila, I saw a different kind of fabric and I said, whoa, this is it. Yeah, I love to work with bi very vibrant colors and because they remind me of the sea corals in the Philippines. I was thinking of the coral reefs back home, you know, which uh, have been uh, decimated. They say 40% of uh, coral reefs in the world are gone. And uh, I love the sea and the creatures that live in the sea and you know that was just something that I couldn't overlook in my art.